I'm Elliot Rodriguez, and this is your CBS Miami News Brief. Let's get a check of your travel forecast right now from meteorologist Craig Setzer. I like the weather across the nation not looking too bad. The exception, unfortunately, is going to be once again the northeast. Southeast, though, another weak front coming through and bringing some cooler air. Highs in the 60s and some 70s, 80s ahead of the front. In the northeast, rain and snow moving out of the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley into New York and New England. So some rain and travel delays expected there, although the snow should be confined mainly to upstate New York and northern parts of New England. Midwest and the plains looking good, mostly dry, sunny conditions, temperatures 40s, 50s, and 60s. And finally in the west, some rain showers and mountain snows, all in all, not looking too bad there as well. And that's a look at your travel weather. Craig, thanks. The music of the legendary rock group Soda Stereo was the soundtrack to the lives of millions of people in Latin America. And now their music has merged with artistry of Cirque du Soleil in a new show called Septimo Dia, or Seventh Day. CBS 4 Seas Petrillo takes a backstage tour of a rehearsal at the UM Watsco Center. Inspired by the music of Latin rock band Soda Stereo, Septimo Dia is in last minute rehearsal today at the Watsco Center in Coral Gables. The show is making its American debut, having entertained more than one million people in Latin America last year. Septimo Dia. So se Septimo Dia, seventh yeah, day. Seventh day, yeah. It's speaking about um, what might have happened next with the evolution of the music of Soda Stereo. No we're an iconic uh, Argentinian rock band who actually sold more albums in the Latino uh, part of the world than the Beatles wow. ever, ever sold. So they outsold the Beatles in, in album sales. Are you kidding me? No, it's the truth. It's a real truth. But uh, but the, most of the world's never heard of them before. And this is not the first time Cirque has teamed up with musical artists for a show. And Cirque has its history, of course, with Michael Jackson Estate, with uh, the Beatles' Love, which has been ongoing for many years now. And so it was, a, again, another great marriage between incredible music that, and uh, the beautiful work of Cirque du Soleil. The show conjures up a world outside of time. And since it's a rock performance, it's interactive, complete with a mosh pit in front where the audience becomes a part of it. So people come along, they don't know the music of Soto Stereo, but they know Cirque du Soleil. They can expect to see world-class acrobatics with this, with this amazing music uh, joining in behind it, uh, some great production values, and also in this show, some very original acts. Uh, so yeah, it's quite unique, this show. A cast of 36 performers take the audience through a musical and acrobatic experience in time. This young cast is so excited for their first U.S. performance together as one. We are, we are like family, so we are even spending time together when we are out of the work. I mean, we go out for a dinner, we go out for a drink, and then we spend a lot of time together. It's a privilege to have this kind of big family, strong family. To make people happy every night and uh, giving to them our energy for what we do is amazing. Septimo Dia is on Wednesday through Sunday this week here at UM's Watsco Center. Get ready to rock out with Cirque du Soleil. In Coral Gables, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. And that's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.